What's up everybody, how you doing YouTube? It's your boy Clay here with Visual After Visual. Today you're gonna learn how to shoot video with iPhone. Hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Let's get this video rolling. What's up everybody, welcome to Fireside Tech. Today what I'm gonna be using is an iPhone 7. First things first to get started with shooting on iPhone is you want to get some stabilization. So let's show you how to stabilize this iPhone. So here's a couple options. I have the Joby tripod. It came with a head that you could place on top. Right there. If you want to just make sure you're in frame, you can see yourself here. You can see the camera there. When I was using my iPhone to vlog, I would hold it like this and just knowing to look at this lens and try to keep my face in the middle of the tripod. And also, if you wanted to set up Something like how I have the camera up there and I'm talking to it this way. You could replace my camera with the iPhone. Let's do that right now. This is shot on the iPhone 7 as I have that set up on the Manfrotto tripod with the same attachment I used to twist on this tripod. Also, something else I invested in a little while back was uh, the Zoom IQ7. And this is a little microphone. Let's bring the iPhone back. So what you want to do is plug this into the end of your phone. This is just a wind cover. So from here, I'm going to pop it on to the end. So now, as a recording video, you could see the green and it's getting a little red so it means it's slightly getting clipped but at least you have a little bit better audio so when you're doing vlogs outside and uh, there's a lot of extra noise in the, in the background you're not going to get so washed out by the external sound. So let's jump into the phone here. Hit settings, scroll down to camera. Once you find it, hit that and you have all your camera settings in here. Let's just go over the most important parts. Go down to format on the bottom first list and most phones are going to be checked off at high efficiency. You're going to want to check off most compatible because when you put these clips into your computer, if it's at the high efficiency, it's going to have a hard time importing that file because it's not easily recognized by your computer. Now most compatible will give you a JPEG slash H.264 and I know personally I use Final Cut Pro and uh, that uses H.264. Now what you want to move over to is go back and hit record video and we're going to want to be at 1080p for 30 frames and the reason being is because 1080p is not as big as 4k and most people don't usually watch videos in 4k it's going to give you a smaller file size with still good definition but you're just not going to be taking up all the extra space on your phone what a frame rate is is the amount of pictures that is taken within a second so if you're shooting at 30 frames a second you're getting 30 frames in that one second of a picture but if you're shooting 60 frames which makes it um, a lot easier to slow down in post and for slow-mo b-roll to kind of make it more dramatic or you can speed it back up So if you're talking to your camera, you're vlogging your day. What's up vlog? I'm about to head to Walmart right now I've got to get a few items and then I got a meeting later. That's 30 frames. Boom. Say you're on the way to Walmart You're not driving you want to get some car shots pop it over into 60 frames. So why don't we take this iPhone outside? So just arrived at our first destination. One key tip I forgot to give you guys is record vertically, not horizontally. Because when you go to put your clips in the timeline, if you have some horizontal and some vertical, the vertical videos are gonna have black bars on the side. So it's not gonna look really too nice on the eyes. Now you're in the store, you kind of want to establish what's, what's kind of in your location. So you see we're in 60 frames. We're gonna start recording. And I want to have two hands on so you can have one on the tripod, one here just for extra stability. And slowly. So let's move the camera around, show, show the location. Um, maybe there's a certain item you're looking for, like let's say we're looking for these sour cream rings. You could do a little slow pan down on it. Alright vlog, that's going to end off today's video. I'm done here. So, 
you guys just learned how to use the iPhone to record videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that big red subscribe button. We'll be back next Sunday with another tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you then.